Man, I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real when you fold the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detail. Replicate epic scenes from the pre war. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Fierce some foes, fighting in the picture perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out to shoot a show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds cool, cooler like my man Zoe. Took the everyday display, gave it a spark. Welcome to articulated comic book art. That's crispy. Mic check, mic check. Just checking in with you guys real quick. Uh, you might hear some noise in the background. I took a I took a break from the con and went back to my girl's sister's crib just to do some editing and uh, put some things away. Uh, but this morning, Thursday, uh, July nineteenth, twenty eighteen, Hasbro had their little private press event at the uh let me get the name right because i've been screwing up the name it's the skybox at diamond view uh in san diego and they pulled out all the stops it was actually really nice it was a full breakfast uh with pastries and fruit and eggs and sausage and bacon and everything delicious and they showed off some new products so this was not an opportunity to do an interview which i will be doing tomorrow on friday uh but i did get to speak with tony from marvel legends for a few minutes so you'll hear that and I'll just be showing a few pictures that we actually uh, showed on our Instagram this morning. Uh, they debuted some pictures of the upcoming Black Panther wave, at least the movie-based figures. And uh, yeah, so this will be a little quickie video. Just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm still at the con. Uh, but this was not the interview. I know a lot of you guys presented questions for the interview. That'll be tomorrow. And yeah, I'm here with uh, Tony from Marvel Legends. And um, no, nah, just audio. Charter Miss is here, hanging out, drinking yeah. some coffee. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I just wanted to know about. I, I saw that these got um, revealed this morning on Marvel.com. So these are set to release in December of this year. Yes. Yes. Yeah. These are the uh, fall. Yeah. This is a uh, Black Panther Wave Two. Uh, right now we're showing uh, Claw, T'Chaka. We've got a brand new Black Panther with an all new likeness uh, for his head. I can't remember her name. I don't remember her name in the movie, but uh, I'll figure it out by the time this goes live on the, on the video. But, but they was, all look very good though, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well with this stuff, uh, because this is um, a little later on in the movie, Marvel, our partner Marvel was able to give us tons of reference. A lot of the times whenever we're starting a new movie, mm -hmm. we have to start this production, you know, sometimes a little uh, more than a year out. So since this movie had come out, they had tons of reference, tons of like turns of all these characters. So we can make these things a little more movie accurate. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, just get all those fine yeah, little works. details that you kind of sometimes miss yeah, if you're working off of concept yeah. art or early production yeah. stuff. So gotcha. this is this should be a little bit more fine tuned. Everything should look uh, nice and accurate. Um, so I guess the other half of the wave are going to be comic based figures. Yes. Uh, can you say that? I can't say that yet. Uh, <laughs> but I'm assuming they, they will be Black Panther themed. I can tell you that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm assuming that we got all movie based characters. I'm saying this. It's not Tony on the record saying this. <laughs> I'm saying that I'm, I'm assuming that everything else will be comic based and we're not sure what the uh, builder figure is going to be yet but we can speculate I'm thinking it'll be man eight, man, eight, man eight yeah that's what I'm thinking as well um, uh, did you work on all of these as far as paint? Uh, these actually were done by an outside vendor uh, and then we did some tweaks in house uh, just to kind of get the likenesses looking a little better, uh, some of the color breaks look a little bit better. Um, I have a coworker that just went in and did a lot of the kind of shadowing and stuff on the faces and just kind of refining some of this stuff and make it look nice for presentation uh, for these big reveals. So we got some uh, actual cloth on the uh, on the Black Panther there, right? Actually, no, that's, uh, no? that's plastic. Yeah, it'll oh, be I a, didn't even touch it. It'll be a soft plastic, oh, okay. but we have tons of paint on that to get all those like different patterns uh -huh. and uh, different color breaks on that guy. What about claw? Anything new? I, I guess the whole upper torso well, seems like it sure, might be Sure, whole new, upper right? torso. I, be I believe the arms... Uh, uh, obviously the cannon arm too uh, yeah the whole arm the head um, it's kind of like a sleeve that goes over top of an existing uh, torso I believe uh -huh. uh, and I, I really like the likeness on uh, yeah, Claude too it looks like Andy Serkis was just a crazed uh, character in that movie so. is he going to have an interchangeable arm where it 
will be like a regular yeah. arm without the cannon busting out of there? Uh, right now we have plans for just a straight up regular arm. And if you can tell, you know, you can, you can even see like the um, different colors between that like fake prosthetic arm uh -huh. compared to his kind of like right. uh, sunburned skin. Right. And like he's been getting some... Uh, a little bit more of a tan, and that thing's kind of like That's old. great attention to detail. Yep, uh, thank and, you. And uh, can we talk about the uh, vintage weight figures at all? Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, uh, so it looks like you guys got a little blast from the past here with the Blue Wasp, which was a old Toy Biz figure that maybe 10 people in the world yeah. <laughs> were able to get. <laughs> yes. Thanks for noticing. 13. Yeah, it was a little nod. 13? Oh, 13. I think it's 13. Well, we just ruined their, their day. But yeah. Yeah, really <laughs> uh, but yeah, we really wanted to kind of nod to those uh, our partners over at uh, what used to be Toy Biz and, you know, kind of showcase some of that legacy. It's showcasing the packaging, so why not kind of hint at some of those Marvel Legends and release that costume. Uh, Ant-Man, we wanted another crack at. Um, and then if you can tell, if you can see, they actually come with smaller versions. Wasp comes with a small Ant-Man, and then Ant-Man comes with a small Wasp with right. the same costume. Yeah, they look like repaints of something that we've got in, in yep. the past. Yep, all repaints. just with the uh, updated costume. So. Yeah, but I'm super stoked for this uh, Wasp. She's kind of got like a rutile, uh, pink rutile to the wings, so okay. like, as the light hits it, it kind of gives it a little bit more of a nice, shimmer. Nice little light pipe in uh, through yeah, there. Yeah, huh? it's almost like a uh, like a metallic, or like on, on the top of like a, a car where it like kind of just like changes a little bit. Shimmers, so huh? yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it looks like Ant Man is on the. It looks like the same buck that you guys put on the dark Ant Man and Ant Man. Yes, it's oh, Grady. Uh, it's all existing parts. It, it's uh, repaints of the uh, yeah the black ant. I think he's called yeah. Uh, just a repaint, just kind of like uh, turning him into the classic pink pen. All right, and then we got the. Uh, Exclusives for SDCC Red Skull with the Tesseract and the Defenders box set. Um, anything you can tell me about that stuff? Uh, yeah, the, the Red Skull, all new um, parts on the Red Skull. He's got like the long trench coat look, completely different uh, color scheme. Oh, oh, we're just talking. Oh, oh over here. Oh, okay. Sorry, okay, okay. Uh, go. yeah, and uh, just a different color scheme to the um, uh, the tenth anniversary was more that like uh, green uh, military look. This mm -hmm. one's the all black with the cosmic cube and comes with the role play cosmic cube that lights up. So and the defenders box set can uh, those uh, the seats and everything be repurposed and you can kind of put it once uh, you get it out of the package. Can you still use that or you know is what? it going to be? I am not sure about that. I actually haven't had one. Uh, to play and around with yet. myself. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's kind of just uh, built into the set. Okay. Uh, so I'm not quite sure. It's all, uh, it's not cardboard, but uh, like it's all paper. So I'm not sure how, if you could finagle it. All right, so I'm guessing you guys are going to have plenty of reveals throughout the weekend. And oh, uh, I think I'll stuff. be talking to you or Dwight tomorrow okay. for like official interview. Oh, sweet. And Ryan's so. got a lot of good stuff for the panel. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, a lot of good like little sneak peeks and hints. So Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. you, Tony. Yeah, of course. All right.